Hello, this is Dr. Neil Baum from New Orleans. And I would like to share a story entitled 17 Inches, which is a baseball metaphor that I believe has healthcare implications. It was 1996 and coach John Scalinas, a very well-known college baseball coach, gave a talk at the American Baseball Coaches Association in Nashville, Tennessee. And he came out and he wore a home plate around his neck. He then, after about 10 minutes into his speech, he asked how many Little League coaches are here? A few raised their hands and he asked them, how wide is home plate? And they answered accurately that it was 17 inches. He then continued asking the Babe Ruth coaches how wide the home plate was. Again, he got the response 17 inches. He continued the questioning, asking high school coaches, college coaches, minor league coaches, and major league coaches, how wide is home plate? And he always got the correct answer. It's always 17 inches. So what if a pitcher can't throw the ball over those 17 inches? If you're in the major league, they send you to minor league Siberia. They don't say, we'll make the plate wider. If the young player can't throw over the plate, they don't say, we'll make it 18 inches, 19 inches, and we'll make it wide enough so you can get the ball over the plate. That is never the response in baseball. So, Coach Scalina's take home message was, if we fail to hold ourselves accountable, a standard of what we know to be right, if we fail to hold our spouses and our children to the same standards, if we are unwilling or unable to provide consequences when they do not meet the standard, and if our schools and churches and our government fail to hold themselves accountable, to those they serve, there is but one thing to look forward to. And with that, he took the home plate that was around his neck and showed the back side, and it was black. And he said, we have dark days ahead if we widen the plate. And his message was, coaches, Keep your players, no matter how good they are, and your own children, and most of all, keep yourself at 17 inches. So there's applications of this message to healthcare. Let's imagine that a doctor is consistently late to see patients. Does the office staff make an excuse and stay? The doctor had an emergency and was unable to see you for 30, 45, 60 minutes late? What if the patient is late for an appointment? Do we just tell the patient to have a seat and we'll work you in and make the patients who do have an appointment and who do arrive on time be delayed because a patient is always late for an appointment? What if an employee is seen texting during office hours when the office manual and the office policy is no use of cell phones during office hours? Do we fail to admonish them and take away their cell phones or do we widen the plate? A payer is denying requests for a procedure or a medication that we have written is refused and they make us jump through the prior authorization hoop. Do we still accept that payer? Do we still work hours at a time, not only ourselves, but our staff obtaining prior authorization, something of which we are not compensated for, something which causes significant delays for patients' treatment and for their medication? 
or do we widen the plate? Last example, imagine you receive a call at night or on the weekend and a patient asks for a refill of their OAB or ED medication, medication that they have been taking for weeks, months, or even years, but they forgot to call during office hours. Do we say, give me the number of the pharmacy and we refill the medication? If we do, we have enabled that patient and we have widened the plate. Coach Scalinas died in 2009 at the age of 91. He left an indelible message, not only for coaches, for players, but I believe he left a message that resonates well into our healthcare profession. His take home message is don't widen the plate. It's always going to be 17 inches. The bottom line is we don't have to accept things and modify our behaviors to accommodate others. The plate is always going to be 17 inches. I hope you enjoyed this story of Coach Scalinas. If any of you would like a copy of his speech, I would be happy to email it to you. You can reach me at the email address shown on this last slide. Thank you.